I'm Chef Shatumara from Adia in Anaheim, California. And today I'm cooking for Max Love Project, a charity that is very close to my heart. We work with children and families that are dealing with devastating cancer-like diseases. Hi, my name is Javier Cuadra, owner and founder of Urbana Anaheim and Urbana Del Mar. The charity that we're supporting tonight, it's the Legacy of Aloha Foundation. It's supporting the hospitality industry that were affected by the fires in Maui. My name is Jonathan Baroni. I am chef at Bar One in Newport Beach, uh, also private dining on Shefferbly platform and uh, owner of La Fogacha. And today I will be uh, cooking for Festival of Children in Costa Mesa, supporting children's lives. Tonight I'm serving two really amazing dishes that are both rooted in Indian flavors. One is a smoked eggplant in a phyllo shell and the other one is a beef kofta with masala sauce. There is so much to love about this kitchen. I love the convenience and the way that the spice drawer has been designed. It's so clever and so thoughtful and so useful. And I also really love the giant sink with the set in colander. One thing people always ask about chopped is the time. Uh, so yes, I can confirm the time is real. And it's definitely more stressful than it looks on TV. I can say that one thing I learned from doing that and having that experience is that I can take anything and make it better with Indian spices. What I love about the Orange County community is that they have been so super supportive of me through my journey culinarily uh, here and it's been everyone's open to new experiences and we work together, we support each other in a really magnificent way. Tonight we're serving our carnitas taco and the red snapper ceviche, some of the most popular dishes. Some of the things I like about the kitchen is the steamrolled stainless steel. It's also very smart, you can charge your phone there and the light and details here are amazing. What I love about the Orange County community is they've been very supported since we started and they love all the creations that we have and all the eclectic food scene that it has brought in the past couple of years. Tonight I'll be serving a traditional Sicilian style uh, seafood salad. It consists of different mixed seafoods, calamari, uh, mussels, clams, shrimp, uh, salmon, whitefish. And uh, it was uh, basically a recipe that I learned through my grandmother when I was a little kid. So we kind of keep that going in tradition because we're Sicilian and we like to keep that. Uh, we'll also be serving a um, northern Italian dish which is a wild boar uh, ragu with uh, radiatore pasta. Radiatore pasta is a homemade pasta that's shaped like little radiators. So that's why we call it radiatore. One of my favorite things about this kitchen is this extending area right here, which makes it very easy for plating and large parties as well. well. For me, the kitchen is a very important area. I mean, growing up, you know, I just remember being in the kitchen with my grandmother when I was a little kid and it was nothing like this. So I can imagine having this where my family could be around would be really nice. I, I think it would be really enjoyable. For me, being in the Orange County um, culinary scene has actually been really important and it's been interesting because, you know, growing up, I was always a part of it through my father. And now, you know, as I'm an adult, I'm a part of it by actually cooking and I'm, you know, cooking with all these people that I grew up and learned from and admired. And now I have the honor to do that with them and also support, you know, different charities in Orange County, meet uh, all the locals. So it's, it's, I love the camaraderie of it all. Thank you again for all coming to our grand opening and helping us celebrate, and let's continue to party. Woo